Hey guys, this is Goldie again, and in this video I will show you how you can have information on organizational based license consumption in G Suite. Now one of the use cases that I can think of about this is that you are a global organization uh, which has uh, G Suite uh, billing centralized, maybe let's say from uh, United States, but you have offices in other countries too and now you need to do cost attribution so that you can bill those countries based on how many licenses they are consuming uh, and you're paying on behalf of them so for that I mean obviously you can go to your G Suite admin console if you go to billing and you can go to assigned users and you can do the org based lookup which means if you just you know click keep on clicking on different organizational units you will see uh, how many licenses that specific organizational unit is consuming but that also means that the user that needs that information will need uh, billing uh, administration so that he can log into G Suite and see that information and second it's it's pretty manual like you need to log in every time and scroll through the organizational units to get that information so in this video I'll show you a quick way uh, to automate it and share it with the users that might need in this information without having them uh, have the uh, G Suite admin uh, rights. So for that, let me show you a quick piece of information. So if you go to directory API, uh, there is a property, and let me show you that one. So if we search for is mailbox, that is the property, and it indicates that this is boolean and the value will be coming to true if you have assigned Gmail or G Suite license to that specific user which means we can get the information from Google directory whether a specific user has been assigned a G Suite license or not and also it gives you the organizational unit path when you use this uh, API so you can uh, figure out which organizational unit this user belongs to. So what I have done here is uh, nothing fancy. I've created a small script and all that script does is just get all the users from uh, our G Suite instance based on directory API and then puts that on this location sorry not the location but on this detailed stats sheet and now I've created a one more organization one more sheet which is OU based license consumption I'll show you how to populate this one with the information that we need but before that let's look at our detailed stats so when I run this script I have I get all this information so I get the organizational unit path I get users primary email addresses along with their names and a couple of other information and also G Suite license information which is this mailbox property that we were looking at this one okay so I'm saying if that's true or false that's information which is here so now let's create OU based license consumption a separate sheet so that if required you can then share this specific sheet via import range with your purchase or billing department so that they don't they, they can access it with just their user credentials they don't need the admin rights and for that first thing we need is the uh, OU name here and then we need uh, license consumption number right or count so for that for OU name, what I'm going to do is instead of writing it manually, I will say show me all the unique organizational units from this column. Okay? And it will show me all the organizational unit. Now here in license consumption count, what I need is show me all the G Suite license uh, count where the where the value is true and it belongs to that specific organizational unit so what I'll do is I'll write a count ifs uh, formula because we'll be using multiple 
uh, conditions here we will say a range is this one and we need uh, back all the counts where uh, value is true okay and then the second criteria is that show us all the organizational units I mean count only the organizational units where the organizational unit path value is this one okay and if I use that it shows me that for this organizational units there are two license consumption and if I just populate that formula over you will see that we have 1021 licenses which is what uh, we're also getting from API so now you have this information but so far we did it manually now we need to like uh, automate it right so for that uh, and before we automate it just a quick thing I mean in this is like a spreadsheet but in case if you need to share it with your executives you maybe use the explore feature it shows us the chart and let's insert this chart Oops. So let's insert this chart which will show us all your base consumption uh, visual representation of it and let's just put it here now what you can do is so for example if I go to my sample site which is ghealth.id.goldiror.com I've created a Google site and I've embedded uh, all the charts that I have here okay so similarly you can create a Google Sites and then embed this chart the OU based license consumption count chart and then share this Google sheet with maybe your CXOs or whoever might need to like the country heads so that they can visually look at the information that's needed okay so now let's automate this so for that because uh, all we need is this sheet it is just taking values uh, or reference from our detailed stats sheet which means all we need is that this information the license assigned count and the OU that should be updated uh, frequently based on our, our requirement and this data is coming from our Google script get all user function so what we can do is we can go to app script triggers and we can create a trigger I've already created one but I'll sh maybe I can delete this one and show you how would you create that so once you're here you will quit click on add trigger and then you will select your function our function was get all users and let's instead of spreadsheet let's make it time driven and let's say that this will be running uh, let's say day timer and let's say that every morning it should be running uh, let's say 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. okay and it should notify us immediately in case of any errors and we save it okay so now essentially what we have done is we are saying that this script which exports all users should be running every morning between 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. which means this data will be refreshed every morning and as soon as this data is refreshed our OU based license consumption will also be refreshed and which means every morning you will be looking at the refreshed uh, or the updated data so I hope that helps in case if you have any questions uh, feel free to put that under this video and I'll be happy to help thank you so much